Good morning, everyone. I've been out of the loop for a few days now. Pollen cow here in Florida, Duval specifically. It's been kind of here. So, I decided to make this video today to let you guys know I'm still around, still here to raise hair. Noah went back. Um, I want to talk about bullies. Specifically, specifically, whichever way you want to say it right now. Don't try to correct me either. I know what I'm saying. Um, I don't care for you guys. I don't care for bullies. I don't like people that bully other people. I don't like people that think that because someone may have a disability or a, I don't say a mental illness. I just say we have things going on because with TS comes depression. And every day it's a struggle sometimes. But when we are here in this world trying to walk amongst you sane folks. Sane folks. You see what I'm saying? You sane asses. They think it's okay to keep pointing your fingers at people because of what they may have going on. Because you don't know at the end of the day what our struggles may have been for us to be going through what we're going through. You know? You have to understand our plight or at least try to walk a day in our shoes and see how the fuck shit is going on. You know, we have to worry about ourselves as well as the public judging us by our appearance nine times out of ten. That's what they're doing. So and I already know about that firsthand. Let me get into a dang on tick attack out in public. I'm looked there like I'm on drugs. I look like uh, damn, she got something going on. Instead of just, hey, come up here, baby. You all right? No, you want to point the finger. I might be in the stove whistling and barking. That's my preference. Because I feel like this here. With TS, we have days where we have our different vocal tics. I have vocal tics as well as motor tics. And it's been days where I have been in the grocery store. Literally, almost in tears because I've been so afraid of unleashing my barking tic. Because the people fucking with me I feel like now we have freedom of speech too let us fucking bark if I want to bark in the stove let me bark in the stove leave me alone you bullies is getting on my last nerve when I say last nerve my last nerve this is for awareness this is just not for you guys this is for us too because it's really showing us who are the assholes in society we don't ask for your sympathy we do not ask for Basically nothing for you. We just want your respect to let us walk amongst you guys like y'all supposed to be the favorable ones and shit. I don't get it. But I feel like you guys is just dropping the ball on some things. You got to show compassion because you got to know at the end of the day, what if it was you? I went to the hospital with a headache and came out with Tourette's. So I tell people real quick, this can be your motherfucking ass. Keep stressing. Keep worrying about stuff. And definitely keep that shit in. Guess what? You'll be like my black ass. But you got to say something some days. You got to talk. We want the same respect as the next person. We want to be able to do what you guys do without any problems. We don't want your damn kids pointing their fingers at us. We don't want them laughing. We don't want your damn show taking a damn video camera out and recording us at one of our worst damn moments. Because we're just as afraid of y'all asses as y'all as us. You're so stupid these days. The first thing you want to do is video us. Video me doing something productive. If I'm in the store, damn it, barking, I don't think that's none of your damn business. Because my barking ain't going to bother you. A damn sure don't bite, at least not during the weekdays. I might bite you if you bite me back. No. But I'm just saying, I might joke about it, but this shit is not a joke. I'm sick of bullies. I'm sick of people pointing the fingers. I'm sick of being alienated in my fucking house in fear of what you guys may do. Because one thing about me and two things for sure, I will come out on top. I always do. I just don't care for bullies. And is this my angle to get it out to the world to help a lot of other people? Then this is what the hell I'm going to be talking about. Because I'm sick of you bullies. I really am. And it's just nerve-wracking that we have to go through this here. I get in the store, my voice goes dang near out sometimes because of TS and I'm nervous, you know? I haven't even gotten out of the car yet to go in the grocery store because of simple fact. I don't feel like the bullshit. And I know people are looking at me like, 
Who the hell is here to talk to? I'm talking to the word. Y'all let me shop in peace. Let me do what I need to do in peace so that I don't be stressed out. It's none of y'all business what I'm going through unless you're not coming over to show some compassion and be like, hey, girl, let me wink it back at you. Because I'm not winking at you seriously. I'm not barking at you. I'm not doing my puckering at you. I don't want you, man. I don't want you, boys. I don't want none of you sorry asses because you know what half of y'all is full of shit. And I don't need nothing else to help contribute to what I got going on. You know, I I laugh about it like it's a joke because it is to me. T.S. is a joke. I say it all day, every day. And people might not like what I say, but in my world, fuck T.S. Because I've been through the bad shit. Fuck this bitch. You got to be a fucking woman because there's no way a fucking dude can do this to any fucking body. You know, but I'm good with it. These are my shoes and I'm walking them. And I'm walking well. And if it takes me to put on a bigger pair to walk over you motherfuckers to keep doing this nonsense, guess what's going to happen? I walk over y'all too. I'm good at it. I'm a bull. So I run over you. So you guys, you be easy. Treat us with respect. We'll treat you with it too. We definitely will because I'm very respectful. I'm very cordial. I'm all around nice person. But I can be an asshole. And I have perfected that shit. Very well. So you bullies, be well. I'm coming for your asses. Look, touch my face. Fuck coronavirus. See the shit? Say you don't touch your face. Y'all don't touch your face. Don't do what I just did. I put the shades on to keep me from touching my face. It's still put touch my face. Wash your dang gone hands. Keep your hands so your dang gone self. Clean up behind yourself. That's all you got to do. If you clean, you have no worries. I ain't worried about the period anyway, because uh, the way I was raised, mine's extra clean. So, y'all be easy. I'm my Facebook family friends. I so love y'all. Y'all remember, tell little Duval I said, work the head back, y'all. Not because I just want to, because it's Duval, baby. Duval, wait back. <laughs>